Hey guys, what's up? It is time. It is time. It is WrestleMania 32 weekend, and I am excited, as you can see by the WrestleMania 30 shirt I am wearing. And still supporting CM Punk, Philip Brooks. I love that guy. I wish he was back. WWE treated him like crap. But anyways, let's get to their predictions. Now, there are three pre-show matches. I'm planning on trying to watch these, but I'm pretty much not going to. Well, it's a minute, but, you know. Alright, first, we have Dudley Boys versus Usos. This one's obvious. Dudley Boys. I'm getting tired of the Usos winning everything. They're a the two-time Slammy Award Tag Team of the Year. They won a uh, tag team multiple times. And let Dudley Boys get a victory once. Because they haven't been a tag team champion in over 10 years. And they need that push in order to beat the New Day. Like a SummerSlam or whatever. So, yeah. I want Dudley Boys to win. I'm getting tired of the Usos winning. Now we have the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. I look forward to this if Kofi Kingston is in it. I mean, with him in it, you have him, like, making memorable saves in the Royal Rumble. Like, the one time when he landed on Big E, he did a handstand on the outside of the Royal Rumble. He always does stuff like that, but I don't think he's going to be in it. So, I am going with Mark Henry to win this. Because I want him to win this. Is is that nah, sorry? It is in his home state of Texas. This might be his last WrestleMania run. So let him go out with the bang by winning one of the biggest battle royals of all time. So there's my prediction with that. Now the next we have the Total Divas versus non Total Divas. So on the Total Divas side we got Natalia Page, uh, Alicia Fox. We got Brie Bella, and we got Eva Marie. And on the other side, we got Lana, Naomi, Tamina, Summer Rae, and Emma. Now, we all know Total Divas is going to win this, but with Eva Marie in it, it's going to go so terribly wrong. She can't wrestle. She is pretty, I'll give her that. She can't wrestle. She can't act. Just get her off the show. I don't get why she's on it. Maybe they're just blind, it, blind on how beautiful she is. That's my guess. But if she can't wrestle, I mean, everyone else on that team can wrestle pretty much. I mean, you got Paige, who's a phenomenal athlete. You got Natalia, technician. And you got Alicia Fox. She's like aerobic. She's athletic, too. So, yeah. And on the other side... You have Emma. I love her as a heel. I hated her gimmick when she was a babyface when Santino Morella. You know, with that uh, bubble popping thing. I don't know what that is, but I like her better as a heel. I liked it that she went back to NXT in the train. And, yeah, that's what I like. But I do not like Naomi. She can't wrestle. Like, she's there for nothing. I don't get it. I simply don't this match. I'm going with Total Divas because I know they're going to win. Alright, now for the big card. So we got League of Nations versus New Day. 4 and 3 handicap match. Obviously, I'm going with New Day because New Day rocks. New Day rocks. And League of Nations is crap. They're all better single handedly in singles. I mean, you got Seamus, who was better at singles. You got Rusev, who's better in singles. You got Alberto Del Rio, who's better in singles. And you got Wade Bear, who's better in singles. Like, to put them all together, I mean, I liked them around the Royal Rumble, but now it's just, like, over and done with. I mean, just get them off the card, please, but I know you're just trying to get as much superstars as possible. And now... I'm going with New Day. New Day Rocks. Enjoy your bootios, guys. Enjoy your bootios. Now, we got one a ladder match. This ladder match is going to be okay. My good friend is looking forward to this match. I'm not. You got Kevin Owens, the champion. And you got Dolph Ziggler, Sami Zayn, The Miz, Stardust, Sin Cara, 
and Zack Ryder. Kevin Owens is going to retain. I know there's going to be a lot of uh, OMG moments with uh, Sin Cara in it. you still got Dolph Ziggler. You're going to have OMG moment with him. You're going to... Zack Ryder, why is he even there? It should be Damien Sandow there, but yeah. So, I'm going with Kevin Owens. Or Sami Zayn. I actually skipped a match. The U.S. title, Kalisto versus Ryback. I don't want Ryback to become the U.S. champion yet. I want Kalisto to do it. He's not... Ryback is not worthy of a U.S. title right now. I mean, you got... Kalisto, a two-time champion. They're pushing him to be the next Rey Mysterio. The greatest underdog, you know. But, yeah. He's gonna win it. And, yeah. I actually liked him better with uh, him and Sin Car, Lucha Dragons. I thought that's awesome. I want them to bring that back a little more. Now, you've got Chris Jericho versus AJ Styles. So... I'm going with AJ Styles. Give him a big push. And even though we've seen this match time and time and time again, I want AJ Styles to go win this and just come out on top. Even He's one of the greatest wrestlers right now. That's why everyone is chanting AJ Styles. And now Y2J is jealous. That's basically what the whole storyline comes down to is jealousy. And AJ Styles is going to win it. And have his WrestleMania moment. Now we got uh, the Divas title. We got Charlotte versus Becky Lynch versus Sasha Banks. Now, I want Sasha Banks to win. I love the boss. She has great talent. She's great on the mic. And I actually like her hair color right now. Just putting that out there. Just putting that out there. I mean, I'm getting tired of Charlotte winning... But, you know, she's a great heel. She's taking out of her father, Ric Flair, and yeah. Now, Becky Lynch, my good friend's a big fan of hers. I'm not. I mean, I don't think it's time for her to win the title right now. I mean, she's good. She gets some fans uh, rolling. And she gets them pumped up. But I think she needs a little more work in the ring. Sasha Banks and Charlotte, they beat her in that category. Right now. And I think Sasha Banks is going to win it. And by the way. I don't know if you guys have heard this. But on Monday Night Raw. They're going to announce the women's division back. They're going to bring that back. And leave the Divas away. So I really want to know. What they're going to do with the Divas title match. After all that. I really want to know. I don't know if that's true or not. But if it is great or not great. I don't know how I feel about that yet. Now, we got the three big matches. We got Brock Lesnar versus Dean Ambrose. No holds barred. Oh my god, I've been looking forward to this match for a, a long time. Like a really long time. Because Brock Lesnar is a beast incarnate. Dean Ambrose is crazy. And you never know what he's going to do. And Brock Lesnar is going to beat the hell. Beat the hell out of him. Out of Dean Ambrose. And Dean Ambrose is going to find some crazy way to win it. And as you saw on Monday Night Raw. He brought the wagon of all his stuff. Coming out. Like getting all the stuff. All the weapons. You have the trash can. Steel steps. Etc. And so you know Dean Ambrose is up to something. So that's my pick Dean Ambrose. Have him get a big push. And have him be in a title run in the future. Hopefully by SummerSlam. Get him in a title run. I want him to win it and go on with the vict victory. And now we have Undertaker versus Shane McMahon and Hell in a Cell. Now, if Shane McMahon wins, he gets control on Monday Night Raw. Now, if Undertaker loses, his career is over. Like, we've been down this path many times with Undertaker. I want Shane McMahon to win because I want the WWE... To be on a better pace. And I want to see the twist. I want to see a twist. Not the same old blah 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 scenario. And yeah. We all know Shane McMahon is going to do something crazy. If you saw him in Night Raw. He jumped up. He jumped off the top turnbuckle. To the Undertaker on the announce table. And completely shattered it. 
And, yeah, he's great. I love Shane McMahon. I loved him when I was a kid. He's a great entertainer. He's a high risk taker, high flyer, and he's very athletic. So I want him to win. And the way I want him to win is actually a little different. I want Undertaker to be like, you know what? I'm not Shane McMahon's bleep. I'm not his bleep. So he's going to, Undertaker's going to be like, I'm not Vince McMahon's bleep. So he's going to let Shane McMahon win and walk out for the better of the company. Now, uh, that match is going to be insane. I can't wait for that. Now, the main event, the worst match of them all, Triple H, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, and COO versus Roman Reigns. Like, I know Triple H is going to lose, and I really want him to win, because Roman Reigns does not bring meaning to the title, like how Triple H brings meaning. John Cena brought meaning to the U.S. title, you know, with the U.S. Open Challenge every week, and I want someone to bring meaning to the title. Seth Rollins did, CM Punk did, uh, Shawn Michaels did when he was a champion, Undertaker did, uh, Randy Orton did, and yeah, Roman Reigns is just terrible. I loved how um, at the main event, when Roman Reigns jumped over the top rope onto the superstars, the crowd in New York were chanting, you still suck, you still suck. That proves that your product, Roman Reigns, is not working. Fix that. You gotta fix that. It's not working, and yeah, just fix that. So, my prediction is Roman Reigns winning, even though I don't want him to win. I would love to see Seth Rollins come out and do a dis big distraction and cost Roman Reigns a title or something, even though that's not going to happen, but I would love to see a big twist at the end. So, please leave a comment below. If you guys are excited for WrestleMania 32, and if you guys want, who do you want to win? And also, uh, I'm going to be tweeting live. So, during every single match on the main card, I'm going to be tweeting my thoughts on each match. So, follow my Twitter, it's in the description below. And I'm going to have a party in my house, so don't worry. There will be a lot of Snapchat pics and Instagram pics. All the links will be in the description below. Alright, so go follow me on there. So, hopefully you guys like my prediction for WrestleMania 32. And, yeah, subscribe for more content. Social media links in the description below. Oh, yeah, by the way, go check out my VGRT. It should be up by this time when this video is up. The video should already be up. So, go check it out. Alright? So, yeah, MK out.